Now a follow-up story we brought you last month, to a story we brought you last month about Tyree Wallace, who has been behind bars for more than a quarter of a century. He believes the review of new information could soon make him a free man. He started a nonprofit in prison, which is making a difference in the lives of some young scientists. Here's Josh Sanders. What are you noticing and what are you wondering? At Stephen Gerard Elementary, second grade teacher Monty Yellick is using a sense of wonder to shape young minds. Are there any particles smaller than sand? Her students are investigating river rocks. They're getting smaller? What do you notice? Learning about sand and silt with the help of these science kits. Say if that does, then it becomes smaller and smaller if I keep shaking it until I can't see it. Yellick School is one of 331 in the school district of Philadelphia, some of which struggle with funding for programs like STEM education. I wanted them to be having hands-on lessons where they could be engaged and working in teams. So she put a request on Donors Choose, a popular fundraising site for teachers to buy science kits like the one she's using. After you've shaken it, just let it sit. A high school friend told Yellick she knew someone who could help. And she contacted me and said her brother would um, love to be able to fund it. Her friend's brother is Tyree Wallace, currently serving life without the possibility of parole for his connection to a 1997 robbery and murder in Point Breeze. We spoke with him over the phone. Here, one of the first things we did with SRC Kids was we donated science kits to children um, of uh, Stephen Gerard Elementary. Since being incarcerated, Wallace founded his nonprofit Systemic Reformative Change, which gives back to the community. Together, he and others pulled together $1,500 to purchase three science kits with the money through their jobs in prison. And so what I appreciate about what he did was the ripple effect of it. Leah Coleman is the school's principal. That he and the gentlemen of his organization would take their time, take their resources and donate to our community. I really thought that that was just compassion, accountability, respect, engagement. Those are our core values. Like it, it was our mission in action. A mission in action because a little sand and silt. Oh, whoa is giving these scientists a brighter future. Josh Sanders, CBS News, Philadelphia.